Mehmed III Adli was Sultan of the Ottoman Empire from 1595 until his death. Early life He was born during the reign of his great-grandfather, Suleiman the Magnificent, in 1566. He was the son of Prince Murad, himself the son of Crown Prince Salim, who was the son of Sultan Suleiman and Haram Sultan. His great-grandfather died the year he was born and his grandfather became the new Sultan, Selim II. His grandfather Sultan Selim II died when Mehmed was eight and Mehmed father, Murad III, became Sultan in 1574. Mehmed thus became crown prince till his father's death in 1595, when he was 28 years old. Reign Mehmed III was more conservative than his predecessor and largely halted artistic patronage, including support of the Society of Miniaturists. His reign saw no major setbacks for the supposedly declining Ottoman Empire. He died at Topkapi Palace, Constantinople. Power struggle in Constantinople Mehmed III remains notorious even in Ottoman history for having 19 of his brothers and half-brothers executed. To secure power, they were all strangled by his deaf mutes. Mehmed III was an idle ruler, leaving government to his mother Safiya Sultan, the Valida Sultan. His first major problem was the rivalry between two of his viziers, Sirdar Ferhad Pasha and Kokasanar Pasha, and their supporters. His mother and her son-in-law Damit Ibrahim Pasha supported Kokasanar Pasha, and prevented Mehmed III from taking control of the issue himself. The issue grew to cause major disturbances by Janissaries. On 7 July 1595, Mehmed III finally sacked Sirdar Ferhad Pasha from the position of Grand Vizier due to his failure in Wallachia and replaced him with Sinar. Austro-Hungarian War The major event of his reign was the Austro-Ottoman War in Hungary. Ottoman defeats in the war caused Mehmed III to take personal command of the army, the first sultan to do so since Suleiman I in 1566. Accompanied by the sultan, the Ottomans conquered Agra in 1596. Upon hearing of the Habsburg army's approach, Mehmed wanted to dismiss the army and return to Istanbul. However, the Ottomans eventually decided to face the enemy and defeated the Habsburg and Transylvanian forces at the Battle of Karistis, during which the Sultan had to be dissuaded from fleeing the field halfway through the battle. Upon returning to Istanbul in victory, Mehmed told his viziers that he would campaign again. The next year the Venetian Baal in Istanbul noted, the doctors declared that the Sultan cannot leave for war on account of his bad health, produced by excesses of eating and drinking. In reward for his services at the war, Sagal Azad Yusuf Sanar Pasha was made Grand Vizier in 1596. However, with pressure from the court and his mother, Mehmed reinstated Damit Ibrahim Pasha to this position shortly afterwards. However, the victory at the Battle of Karistis was soon set back by some important losses, including the loss of Kyur to the Austrians and the defeat of the Ottoman forces led by Hafiz Ahmet Pasha by the Wallachian forces under Michael the Brave in Nicopol in 1599. In 1600, Ottoman forces under Tiriaki Hassan Pasha captured Nagy Kanijar after a 40-day siege and later successfully held it against a much greater attacking force in the siege of Nagy Kanijar. Jelalai revolts Another major event of his reign was the Jelalai revolts in Anatolia. Karaj Yazici Abdul Halim, a former Ottoman official, captured the city of Urfa and declared himself sultan in 1600. The rumours of his claim to the throne spread to Constantinople and Mehmed ordered the rebels to be treated harshly to dispel the rumours. Among these was the execution of Husia Pasha, whom Karayazici Abdul Halim styled as Grand Vizier. In 1601, Abdul Halim fled to the vicinity of Samson after being defeated by the forces under Sokaluzada Hassan Pasha, the governor of Baghdad. However, his brother, Delhi Hassan, killed Sokaluzada Hassan Pasha and defeated troops under the command of Hadim Husrev Pasha. He then marched on to Kutaya, captured and burned the city. 
relationship with England. In 1599, the third year of Mehmed III's reign, Queen Elizabeth I sent a convoy of gifts to the Ottoman court. These gifts were originally intended for the Sultan's predecessor, Murad III, who had died before they had arrived. Included in these gifts was a large jewel-studded clockwork organ that was assembled on the slope of the royal private garden by a team of engineers, including Thomas Dallam. The organ took many weeks to complete and featured dancing sculptures such as a flock of blackbirds that sung and shook their wings at the end of the music. The musical clock organ was destroyed by the succeeding Sultan Ahmed I. Also among the English gifts was a ceremonial coach, accompanied by a letter from the Queen to Mehmed mother, Safiya Sultan. These gifts were intended to cement relations between the two countries, building on the trade agreement signed in 1581 that gave English merchants priority in the Ottoman region. Under the looming threat of Spanish military presence, England was eager to secure an alliance with the Ottomans the two nations together having the capability to divide the power. Elizabeth's gifts arrived in a large 27-gun merchantman's ship that Mehmed personally inspected, a clear display of English maritime strength that would prompt him to build up his fleet over the following years of his reign. The Anglo-Ottoman alliance would never see consummation, however, with relations between the nations growing stagnant due to anti-European sentiments reaped from the worsening Austro-Ottoman war and the deaths of Safiya Sultan's interpreter and the pro-English chief Hassan Pasha. Personal life. He was born at Manisa Palace, the son of Sultan Murad III, whom he succeeded in 1595. His mother was Safiya Sultan, probably an Albanian from the Principality of Dukagini. He married Handan Sultan, an ethnic Greek originally named Helena and had Ahmed I. He also married an anonymous Abkhazian woman and had Mustafa I. He married a princess from the Byzantine Komnenos dynasty of Trebizond, a surviving branch of the Byzantine imperial family of the same name from Constantinople and had Sezade Yahya who is of interest to some because he reportedly converted to Eastern Orthodox Christianity and campaigned for a good part of his life to gain the Ottoman imperial throne to which his younger brother Ahmed I succeeded in 1603. Feeling cheated, he spent years developing and implementing conspiracies to further his ambitions. Traveling mostly across Western Europe, he promised several backers as well as four Roman Catholic popes that he would make Christianity the state religion of the Ottoman Sultanate if he ever succeeded to the imperial throne. Children, son Sezade Mahmud. Sayyid Selim, Sayyid Sifangir, Sayyid Mehmed, Ahmed I, Mustafa I, Sayyid Yahya, daughters Hattas Sultan, Aisha Sultan.